Well, I've done 10 things you should know about Anubius, so I thought it was about darn time that I should do 10 things you should know about Crips. Well, welcome to The Small Escape. Yes, we are talking top 10 things you should know about Crips. I have done top 10 things of Anubius, which I will link down there, maybe up there. And then also I did have a battle a while back, Anubius versus Crips. Both of them, I love them. They would definitely be in my top three plants to, to basically refer to anybody if they're looking for aquatic plants. If you're looking for aquatic plants, maybe you're even new to the hobby. Crips are a beautiful, wonderful group of plants. I'm gonna share 10 things that I think you should know about. So let's get started. Number one, how do they grow? Well, you plant them into the substrate, whether that's soil, aquatic soil, or even sand or gravel. I prefer sand, especially with nano tanks. I like that tiny little scale. But I supplement and feed them with root tabs. That's just fertilizer that you put into the substrate, and that's how they grow. You wouldn't believe the root structure that they will develop over time not only will your crypts get very full if you're feeding them well, those roots down below are going to be massive, you wouldn't believe it, but you definitely wanna plant them in the substrate. Number two, what you should watch out for. This is one of the biggest, well, I don't know if I would call it a negative, but something that may alarm and probably has alarmed most if not all crypt keepers, and that would be they melt. That's right. Crypts do not really particularly like to be either moved or from one tank to another. Uh, you don't really wanna mess with them once you plant them into an, a tank. They just like to be kinda of left alone. If you do get them from the store, you plant them in your tank, chances are they were grown immersed and they have to transition themselves to a submersed state. And when they do that, they melt. They just kinda of disintegrate. You're gonna think that you killed your plant, but no, you have not. They're just shedding off their old leaves and they will grow some new ones. If you don't wanna mess with that, you can always actually just cut off the leaves when you plant them. Yeah, it doesn't look really great. Uh, you, may, you might scare yourself. Just don't do that with Crip Parva. The smallest of the Crips, it won't, it won't, it won't like that, but uh, those melted leaves, you just wanna clean it up when they melt off and um, it will, in no time, regenerate some brand new ones. Number three, just be careful. Crips I do consider to be rather fragile, especially where those stems kind of meet each other and they can break off very easily. Yes, they'll regenerate new ones, but in the meantime, you'll just have a, you know, less leaves coming from your plant. So when you plant them, definitely with, if you're using your tweezers or your fingers, whatever, I would grab that rhizome, that thicker part, and, and uh, kind of plant it that way. Just try to keep your hands off the base of the stems because they do like to pop off. Number four, Crips come in a wide variety of leaf shapes. So you can have multiple different kinds of crypts, even in the same tank, and you might not know it. They come from anything like very long and skinny and small leaves, like the Crypt Lutea or the Crypt Parva, some of the smallest crypts out there. And then you have something more uh, like a shorter leaf, but wider. And that would be one of my favorites, the Crypt Bacchetti. Love that leaf shape. And then also the Wenti, or Wenti Eye, however you want to call it. And that one is a very long, more of a narrow leaf, but also a little bit larger and kind of crinkly. So it's really awesome to have Crips offer so many different leaf shapes. Number five, another really great thing about Crips is it has a wide variety of temperatures that it can handle. Anywhere, and this would be conservatively speaking, 70 to 80 degrees. It can go into the 60s though, and even into, I've heard, nearly mid 80s that it can handle and we run our tanks in the fish room about 78 degrees they're all perfectly content there but i have a number of tanks that i have not heated in the past and they do fine there too so a wide variety of temperatures makes that a very user-friendly plant number six just as a fun fun fact where are they from they are actually from india southeast asia they are found in rivers and streams. And a fun fact is that in a lot of these rivers and streams, the flow is very, very high and they do exceptionally well. So if you have a tank that you need some plantings near a filter or somewhere where that's getting a lot of flow, try Crips and they'll probably be very happy. Number seven, what kind of light do you give your Crips? 
in their natural habitats, they do range from low to medium light, depending on if I have maybe just a very simple or low tank light, very, very dimly lit, my crypts are fine. They probably won't grow as fast, all the way up to medium light. Very specific kinds of crypts will require different kinds of light sometimes, maybe preferring uh, medium to high light. You definitely want to Google your specific type of crypt that you acquire, but generally speaking, they're very happy with low to medium light, something that you're going to probably find in most tanks. Number eight, how do they grow? How do you propagate them? Like I alluded to before, they grow under uh, in the substrate, their roots grow down, and then they grow via rhizome. So that rhizome grows down into the substrate and then branches off and little crypts will be popping up. And then also that main crypt will uh, continue to kind of branch out and build upon itself. So if you're very, very gentle after a while, after it's gotten a little bit more mature, especially if it's starting to grow a little bit taller or bigger, maybe take up your tank a little bit too much and you want to kind of spread the wealth and move it to other tanks or throughout your tank, you can kind of pull apart uh, different little plants that are kind of building upon it's, itself and use them, plant them elsewhere. You can always cut the rhizome and cut different plants apart. That's totally fine. But uh, that's how it grows via rhizome. Number nine, how big do crypts get? It depends on the type of crypt that you have. There are so many different kinds, so many beautiful kinds. I just acquired a few new different ones that I have in my collection now. But generally speaking, I would say they grow from anywhere from the smallest, the Crypt Parva, which I said there is a Crypt Parva mini apparently, which I've not yet had. It's on my list to get to see how tiny these little guys really are. But that's maxes out to maybe two, three inches. Very small, it's a cute little crypt. And then you have much larger ones that generally maybe eight to 10 inches max, and that would be the Crypt Wenties. Those are really great uh, group that actually come in three different colors. Uh, but generally speaking, you're gonna stay under that 10, 10 inch mark and uh, they'll just keep getting fuller and fuller and kind of bushier, which is really kind of fun if you wanted to take up a little bit more space. But if you're, if you're looking to have a very small nano tank and you wanna put some crypts in there, definitely consider that Crypt Parva because it stays pretty small, it does grow, I would say relatively slow and you won't have to worry about constantly pulling out plants and it overrunning your tank. Number 10, it comes in different colors and this is probably one of the biggest benefits to crypts that it has going. It's a it's a very easy plant I consider to keep alive and the, the uh, plants that you get can uh, in this group range from like a tan, there's bronze, reds, like a real dark red, uh, pinks. Yes, there's pink flamingo, adorable little plant. And then there's a new one that I just got, uh, purpurea, and that actually does have like a purple on the leaf. And then a lot of the crypts too, almost have two colors, one on the top of the leaf and another one on the darker, so like a darker purple or red underneath. Really, really beautiful. So you could, you could escape the rest of your life just using crypts and uh, nobody, nobody would be the wiser because some of them look so different and they're different sizes, different colors, and they're all really very user-friendly with their acceptance of all the different temperatures, that wide variety of temperature, and just they're just a great plant. So let me know what is your favorite crypt. Do you have one? Um, I know I have Crypt Parva will always be my favorite until I have the Crypt Parva Mini, of course, I'm, I'm gonna check that one out. But the little colored ones, I think are so much fun, the, the pinks and oh, just so much fun. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.